guys, hope it's going well. Uh, anyways, today, I'm going to teach you how to read binary code. Now, quick disclaimer. Binary code, it's pretty useless when it comes to trying to encrypt stuff. Like, I mean, pretty much anyone can type it into a binary text converter. Hell, it's even really easy to just go ahead and just do the deductive reasoning to figure out what it means without it. Which is what I'm going to show you today. But, you know, still, it can be useful for, you know, like, online puzzles and some basic level of encryption. You know, protect your protect your info against script kitties and stuff who really don't care. Anyways, you know, worst case scenario, you can just learn how to uh, have a secret language with your friend and just screw around in class. Anyways, let's get on to it. So, first thing that you're going to need to know is you got to break up all of these huge chunks of ones and zeros into sections of eight. And we'll just take all this stuff away and just focus on this one right here. So, the first thing that you're going to look at is the first three digits right here. If it has a zero one zero as the first three digits, that means that it's a capital letter. But if it has zero one one, then it's a lowercase letter. So then what you're gonna want to do is look at the last five digits. And you gotta subdivide these into little sections. So first thing you gotta know is, for this fourth digit right here, its point value is worth 16. This zero right here, this this place right here is worth 8. This place value right here is worth 4. This one is worth 2. And this last one is worth 1. Now, think of it like this so if there's a one there then that means that this value right here for the for its own place value is added to uh to the number and uh if it's a zero then just ignore that place value and move on to the next one so all right so it's a capital and 16 plus 4 plus 1 is, uh, that's 21. So, that's you. What I mean to say is, uh, so the number 21, so any number that you get here corresponds to the number of the letter in the English alphabet. So, this would be you. And you just repeat the process for all these other numbers with one space in between each letter and three spaces in between each word. Keep going that way, fill in the blanks, and then boom, you got your binary, yeah, uh, your binary message. Anyways, if we continue the process with the rest of these letters, we get the message I knew it. Anyways, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Peace.